Taylor Swift has dominated the charts for nearly two decades and achieved the milestones of billionaire status. Her journey to stardom is a compelling story of talent, determination, and strategic career moves. From her early passion for music to her transition from country to pop, Taylor Swift was born on December 13, 1989 in Reading, Pennsylvania. From a young age, she demonstrated a remarkable writing talent. By the age of nine, she had won a national poetry contest. Her love for music grew early, and by 12, she was combining her poetic skills with her musical talent to write songs. This early start set the foundation for her future career. At 14, Swift and her family moved to Nashville, Tennessee, the heart of country music. She was determined to pursue a music career and tirelessly distributed her demo CDs to industry professionals. This persistence paid off when Scott Borchetta, the founder of Big Machine Records, signed her. Swift released her self-titled debut album in 2006, which included hits like Tim McGraw and Teardrops on My Guitar. The album's success marked her official entry into the music industry. Swift's second album, Fearless, was released in 2008 and took her to new heights. Featuring hits like Love Story and You Belong With Me, the album won four Grammy Awards, including Album of the Year. Her fourth album, Red, released in 2012, saw Swift experimenting with different musical styles, incorporating pop and rock elements. Hits like We Are Never Ever Getting Back Together and I Knew You Were Trouble showcased her versatility and ability to appeal to a broader audience. This evolution continued with 1989, released in 2014, her first documented pop album, which included chart-topping singles like Shake It Off and Blank Space. The album was a critical and commercial success, earning her three Grammy Awards, including Album of the Year. Reputation, released in 2017, featured the lead single, Look What You Made Me Do, which broke several streaming records. In 2019, Swift's Lover returned to a more upbeat and romantic tone. It debuted at number one on the Billboard 200, with 867,000 album equivalent units in its first week. The album included hits like Me and You Need to Calm Down, and received critical praise for its lighter, more colorful sound. In 2020, Folklore was released as a surprise during the COVID-19 pandemic. It debuted at number one, making Swift the first female artist to have seven albums debut atop the Billboard 200. It also won the Grammy for Album of the Year. Evermore, described as a sister album to Folklore, continued in a similar vein with a mix of indie folk and alternative rock. It also debuted at number one on the Billboard 200. In 2022, she released Midnights, exploring themes of self-reflection and personal growth. It was another commercial success, debuting at number one on the Billboard 200. Taylor Swift's latest album, The Tortured Poets Department, released in April 2024, has been a massive success. Breaking numerous records, the album debuted at number one on the Billboard 200 chart. As of 2024, she has won 14 Grammy Awards out of 52 nominations, showcasing her versatility and talent across different genres. Her net worth is around $1.3 billion. She has been honored by the Songwriters Hall of Fame with the Hal David Starlight Award and was listed in Rolling Stone's 100 Greatest Songwriters of All Time. Taylor Swift's touring history is marked by a series of highly successful concert tours that have solidified her status as a global superstar. Beginning with the Fearless Tour in 2009 to 2010, Swift's first headlining tour grossed over $63 million and covered North America, Europe, and Oceania. It marked her early rise in popularity. The Speak Now World Tour from 2011 to 2012 promoted her third album. It further expanded her reach with 111 shows globally and grossed over $123 million. Swift's next tour, The Red Tour, was in 2013 to 2014 in support of her fourth album. She visited multiple continents and grossed over $150 million. The 1989 World Tour in 2015 was a turning point with an extensive global itinerary and a total gross of over $250 million from 85 shows, making it one of the highest grossing tours of all time. The Reputation Stadium Tour in 2018 broke records for the highest grossing U.S. tour with a global gross of $345.7 million from 53 shows. Recently, Taylor Swift's Eras Tour has achieved remarkable success, becoming the highest grossing music tour of all time. 
As of 2024, the tour has grossed $1.04 billion, breaking the previous record held by Elton John's Farewell Yellow Brick Road Tour. The tour began in March 2023 and is scheduled to conclude in December 2024, spanning 151 shows worldwide. The merchandise from this tour has generated significant revenue, estimated at around $200 million. The Eras Tour concert film was released in 2023 and became the highest-grossing concert film of all time, earning $92.8 million during its opening weekend in the U.S. and Canada. Taylor Swift's brand endorsements and partnerships significantly contribute to her earnings. In 2011, she launched the Wonderstruck Perfume with Elizabeth Arden, inspired by her song Enchanted. The line included various products such as shower gels and lotions. She began endorsing CoverGirl in 2010, debuting as the face of the Nature Lux collection. In 2013, Swift entered a long-term partnership with Diet Coke, becoming a key figure in their Stay Extraordinary campaign. This collaboration included television, print, and digital advertising, as well as exclusive access for fans through social media and her Red Tour. In 2016, Swift promoted Apple Music in a commercial that garnered significant attention. This partnership demonstrated her influence in the music streaming industry. Swift's collaboration with Starbucks in 2021 coincided with the re-release of her album Red. Fans could order her favorite drink, Taylor's Latte, during the Red Cup season. Taylor Swift has garnered significant earnings from her music sales and streaming activities. As of 2024, her music has earned approximately $400 million. Additionally, earnings from her streaming services and YouTube contributed an additional $120 million. Her influence on streaming platforms is immense, with her music frequently setting records upon release. For instance, her album The Tortured Poets Department sold 1.6 million units in the US on its first day and gained over 300 million streams on Spotify. In 2023 alone, Taylor Swift was streamed 26.1 billion times, making her the top artist of the year on both Spotify and Apple Music. Taylor Swift's social media influence and carefully managed public image have significantly contributed to her billionaire status. Swift's strategic use of social media platforms like Instagram, Twitter, and Tumblr allows her to maintain direct communication with her fans shaping her narrative and brand image effectively. This influence extends to various aspects of popular culture, as seen in the increase in sales of Kansas City Chiefs jerseys. Taylor's adeptness at leveraging social media was also showcased during her dispute with Apple Music in 2015, by posting an open letter on Tumblr criticizing Apple's policy on artist compensation she successfully pressured the tech giant to change its policy. Taylor Swift has made a significant impact through her philanthropy, contributing to a wide range of causes and inspiring others to engage in charitable activities. Throughout her career, Swift has been committed to charitable endeavors. During her fearless era, she supported the Mississippi Flood Relief Fund to aid flood victims. In the Speak Now era, she partnered with the Red Cross and UNICEF, donating millions for disaster relief and clean water projects. The Red era saw her collaborating with local food banks to combat hunger, while the 1989 era included establishing the Taylor Swift Education Center to provide educational opportunities for underprivileged children. During her reputation era, she supported victims of the Manchester Arena bombing through the We Love Manchester Emergency Fund. Her recent era's tour further demonstrated her dedication to philanthropy. Swift made donations to food banks in cities where she performed. So, that's the story of how Taylor Swift became a member of the Billionaire Club. It's a reminder that huge success can come from following your passion, especially when you're as talented as Taylor. Did you manage to grab tickets to the Eras Tour? If yes, share your experience in the comments below. Hit the subscribe button for more amazing content.